गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर प्रथमेश जैन आर्थोस्कोपी सर्जन एडवांस नी एंड शोल्डर हॉस्पिटल अहमदाबाद मेनी पेशेंट्स हैव आस्ड क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग फाइबर टेप इंटरनल ब्रेसिंग एंड दिस इज अ कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव वीडियो अबाउट ऑल द डिटेल्स ऑफ फाइबर टेप इंटरनल ब्रेसिंग आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल माई व्यूवर्स टू सी दिस वीडियो कंप्लीटली टू अंडरस्टैंड थॉरोली अबाउट फाइबर टेप इंटरनल ब्रेसिंग टेक्निक एंड हाउ I particularly do this technique for the betterment of the patients. Now, first we must understand what is brace. Now, brace is a support which is given to any operated limb to protect our repair and our reconstruction. So, it is a, the brace can be external or internal. So, this. is a routine external brace that we apply this is a very common thing all of you must have seen it this is a very common device we use it after the injury after the surgery and this is called a brace this is an external brace and this brace prevents any further injuries gives rest to your joint and protect your repair or the reconstruction whatsoever so this is an external brace and this is a very useful device to protect your knee from any damage now based on this principle what scientists have developed a technique in which you don't have to apply the brace externally but you protect your repair internally with a band so that is called as a internal brace now this internal brace is particularly basically a band or a structure so if you see here this is a button and here what you can see is that the button is attached with a tape this tape is a fiber tape so this tape can be used as a internal brace so what is a internal brace the internal brace is a protective device used for your ligament to protect your ligament to increase the life of the ligament and to reduce the need of an external support or an external brace and this has come a long way in improving the surgical outcomes and increasing the speed and increase the speed of rehabilitation so the sports person can get back to his work very soon so this is called as a fiber tape internal brace technique so here what you can see is this is our button and this is a brace this is called as a internal brace now this internal brace is technically made up of uhm wpe that is ultra high molecular weight polyethylene suture and this width can be from about 2 mm to about 3 mm to 4 mm depending on the scenario and there are different different brands available so this is basically a support which is given to the ligament now you must understand why we do it so this is done to increase the strength of your ligament strength of your device number 1 number 2 this is used to protect your graft or protect your ligament number 3 it increases the speed of rehabilitation it can do it can make you run faster it you it can make you go back to your sports very fast so that is called as a faster rehabilitation or faster return to work or faster return to sports and it decreases the re tear rate so these are all the conditions in why we do a internal bracing technique so let me summarize all the advantages of the internal brace technique number 1 it reduces the rates of re tear so the chances of re tears are reduced and your graft is a more stronger graft once you do a internal brace technique number 2 it reduces your rehabilitation time so you can be back to your sports quickly so slower rehabilitation is another very important advantage 
of this technique so the rehabilitation will become faster and you don't need a long time of rehabilitation so the rehabilitation will be quick you can be back to your sports faster okay then a very important thing is it works as a seat belt so whenever there is an accident supposedly if you are driving uh, driving a vehicle or driving a four wheeler and you suffer any accident so what happens is the seat belt will protect you from damaging or from collision and from, uh, protect you from severe injury so same with the seat belt effect this brace will be very useful in protecting your ligament against any injury because the internal brace will act as a seat belt to prevent any further injury or so if the ligament has to be torn the internal bra brace has to break first so this is all the all the concept about internal bracing so internal brace act with a seat belt effect now you can do a long term study so there are now several long term studies which have supported the use of internal bracing in both acl repairs and acl reconstructions so let me go to a little bit of history classically the internal brace was developed to protect the repair surgeries so like whenever we do uh, acl repair mcl repair or brostrom repairs so to protect them a uh, internal brace was added but slowly people have started understanding the principle of internal brace and now the internal brace has been used more commonly in reconstruction surgeries as well so now the sp scope of internal brace surgery has been widened and it has been used in more variety wide variety of surgeries now people do ask me what are the drawbacks or problems or complications that may occur because of internal brace so internal brace is a very safe modality but yes it is a foreign material so occasionally a foreign body reaction can occur occasionally if you tension it very tight or you tighten it very uh, hard you may have over constrained knee and you may develop into stiffness so these problems may occur because of internal bracing but these problems are very very rare events some people ask me what are the cost implications of the internal brace so they are not much so if you use an, an internal brace an internal brace additional cost apart from your original surgery will be around 5000 to 6000 rupees in indian uh, market so it's not much so it is definitely a thing which has to be done and which has to be advised to the patients to increase the long term effects or long term strength of the graft now people ask me where all or in what all surgeries can we use a internal brace technique so i will uh, shorten my uh, uh, talk on two joints knee joint and ankle joint so recurrent ankle sprain or ankle instability or ankle sprain which is occurring very frequently is a very common condition and this is one of the conditions in which internal bracing surgery is very useful and internal brace has been proven to have excellent result in ankle instability surgery which is also called as a brostrom surgery so for ankle brostrom surgery ankle instability surgery this is a very good technique and should be performed now we come to the knee joint this is a joint for which maximum internal brace fiber tape internal brace surgeries has been done now for knee joint this surgery is recommended for four different different surgeries first acl surgeries in acl surgeries as i have told you the classical indication is a acl repair surgery this is a very unusual uncommon surgery which is done at very very few centers including ours in which the original acl which is torn can be repaired to its original insertion so this is a very very technically demanding surgery is done at a very few centers acl repaired surgeries and in this acl repaired surgeries you must do a internal brace to protect the 
ACL repaired. So fiber tape internal bracing is a very useful technique to protect your ACL repairs. Then you can do internal bracing along with ACL reconstruction surgeries also. And internal bracing is usually done on the anterior part of the graft and it is usually recommended to fix it either on a suture disc or a button or you can use an extra device like a, a anchor or a swive lock anchor to repair it onto the bone. So that is a very very again a very very good modality to protect your ACLs from injuries and to shorten your recovery period. Then you can use this internal brace technique for MCL repairs also. The MCL is a ligament on the internal side of the knee and it is occasionally torn and the classical surgery we do is to do a MCL repair and whenever you should do an MCL repair you should you should augment it with an internal brace to protect your repair. Similarly if you are doing an MPFL surgery an MPFL advancement surgery or an MPFL reconstruction surgery you can add on internal bracing to protect your repair or reconstruction. Similarly, if you are doing a posterior lateral uh, surgery, you can use an internal bracing to protect your ligament repairs or reconstructions. So you, you must have seen that this is a very versatile technique, can be used for a variety of surgeries and it provides you a more solid repair, a more robust repair, quicker rehabilitation, faster return to sports and it makes a surgeon have a peaceful sleep in the night because a surgeon knows that he has done a very solid repair for the patient. A very important phenomenon which you must understand is you should always do a fixation in full extension and you should keep it little loose because as I have told you a over constraint joint is a side effect of the internal brace technique. So you should not tight it tight very hard and you should uh, tight little loose and in full extension as far as the knee joint is concerned. As far as foreign countries are concerned, internal brace and being has been used very successfully with allografts also. So whenever allografts are used and we all know that allograft retail rates are high. So in allografts internal bracing is highly recommended. Also, you must understand that whenever there is a tear, whenever there is a re-tear or whenever there is a failure of your graft, the most common mechanisms are creep and internal stretching. So both of these modalities can be reduced by using an internal brace technique. So friends, if you have any more doubts regarding fiber tape internal brace technique, you can contact us on the comment box or you can contact us on the WhatsApp number which has been given to you. If you want to have an online consultation, we will be available for an online consultation. And if you want to come for a physical consultation, you can come to our hospital which is strategically situated at Advanced Knee on and Shoulder Hospital, Ahmedabad, Sarkej Gandhi Highway. If you have any more doubts, we will be very happy to clear all your doubts on the comment box as well. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks a lot.